Well, good morning. A nice cool morning out here in northern Maine, about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, back here on my property. And I'd like to share with you the clearest scripture in the entire New Testament where Jesus claims to be God. A lot of uh, the enemies of Jesus Christ say that he never claimed to be God. He's just the son of God. Uh, he never used God's title. Not true. Uh, John chapter 8, beginning in verse 56. Jesus speaking here, he says, Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Here's reading from the Bible. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. Then took they up stones to cast at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. Um, understand the scriptures there. What is Jesus Christ saying when he says, I am? He is using God's title, God the Father's title, by the way. Um, Exodus chapter 3, verse 14 says, And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. Um, Jesus Christ comes and they say, who are you? And he says, I am. Tell them that I am hath sent me unto you. Jesus very clearly claimed to be God right there. That's why they took up stones to cast at him. And by the way, if you say, if you're one of these weird people out there that says that Jesus is not God, Jesus never claimed to be God. Um, <clears throat> why was he crucified then? They crucified him because of blasphemy. There's another verse of scripture, I think it's in John chapter 10, I think, where he says, uh, they say to him, you know, I mean, Jesus says, are you, why are you stoning me, you know, for good works and, and whatever. And they say, for good works, we don't, we're not stoning you, paraphrasing here, but because thou, being a man, makest thyself God. Yes, Jesus claimed to be God. He was God. He is God. That's the truth of the matter. That's why they crucified him. God had to shed his blood to pay for your sins and my sins. That's the truth of it. It's wonderful. It's the gospel. It's good news. But people don't like that good news because they're self-righteous and they don't want to think of themselves having to need the perfect blood of God to wash their sins away. Oh, I'm, I'm a pretty good person. I think I'll be all right. And, uh, yeah. Um, no, you need God's blood to wash your sins away. And uh, all the other religions out there, by the way, they don't have God like we do. Um, that's why Christianity is the greatest religion that's ever been. Uh, no argument on that. Um, I mean, you can argue, but uh, you're foolish if you do. So that is going to be it. Um, if you're claiming that Jesus is not God, then you don't know the scriptures and you're on your way to hell, quite frankly.